Hello, hello, good evening, good evening, and welcome. So, here we are once again and ready to get started on a new lesson. Tonight, I have high hopes that, you know, it's not going to happen again what we had yesterday because I have a special activity that I want to develop with you guys. Um, with you, we have done tons and tons of listening. We have done um, quite some speaking. We have done some reading. But something we haven't done just yet is writing. So tonight, we are going to do some writing. However, it's going to be um, something special, and I will I will be explaining you guys in a little bit what it's all about. But tonight, yeah, we are going to be working on that skill. You know, it's as always, it's one of the uh, of the four skills, and it has to be an important one. It has to be practiced. So we're gonna do that tonight. We are going to be basically creating a story. As um, you know, it will be amazing to have like a chance to use that skill. So hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope you are, you know, you had a great day today. And yeah, apart from that, what is else, uh, what else are we going to work on? Well, we are first going to be wrapping up the exploring possibilities topic. It's not like that complicated, I think. Um, Cause yeah, it's simply, you know, getting to see how we can pair, um, some words with others, which is not necessarily hard, uh, which also means that I want, um, you know, to dedicate or to give you guys as long as possible to write down a story. Because yeah, tonight, basically, that's what we're doing. Now, another thing that I would like to um, discuss with you is that uh, basically with tomorrow's topic, we are wrapping up the platform information. So we are basically out of topics, you know, we are going to be done. So for next week, I want you to think, what are some topics related to the English language that, um, you know, called your attention that are relevant maybe to you and that you would like to explore? Because I know that English is like a huge language and it has many, many um, topics. And of course, as there are many topics, there are also many things that cannot be completely cleared out in one hour or less than one hour. So if you have any topics in mind, any, um, you know, past experiences that you would like to clarify, I think we are going to have plenty of time to go ahead and do that. If not, of course, I will create my own. I will bring, you know, my own ideas, my own topics, and I will uh, more than gladly uh, make you guys practice as much as possible. But yeah, the idea is basically to give you the chance to um, basically mold the last few classes, the last classes that we're going to have for the next week. But tonight, as I said, we're going to do some, uh, um, some writing. So how is it going to work? It's relatively easy. What we're going to do is that we're going to be getting divided into two groups. And within the, within the two groups, we are going to pick a topic. Sí, ya anteriormente, bueno, esto creo que mejor se lo voy a decir así full en español para que quede completamente claro. Anteriormente hemos trabajado ya en casi todas las eh, habilidades principales del inglés, ¿verdad? Estoy hablando de cerca de la escucha, que es lo que más quizás hacemos. Then we have speaking, que es otra cosa que hemos estado practicando. Hemos practicado lectura un poco, pero sí lo hemos hecho. Pero hoy vamos a practicar escritura, ¿sí? Importantísimo porque... Eh, o sea, ustedes están llegando ya al punto casi que en el que vamos a ir finalizando, ¿verdad? El curso, por lo tanto, considero muy importante el utilizar un poco el vocabulario que hemos obtenido. Ahora, importante, esto es algo de verdad bien, bien importante. Eh, se trata de un trabajo colaborativo, ¿sí? Vamos a estar trabajando en grupos, lo que significa, ¿verdad? Que espero, o al menos en los momentos en los que esté monitoreando cada uno de los grupos, Espero que trabajemos la mayoría, ¿sí? O sea, yo sé que a veces algunos están tal vez en alguna actividad distinta, entonces probablemente no estén eh, del todo dispuestos a, a participar. Pero la idea es crear una historia. Ustedes van a elegir eh, un tema de cuatro temas que, que he traído. Ahora bien, si eligen el mismo tema, no hay problema. No vamos a decir a la clase, ¿verdad?, cuál es el tema que hemos elegido, sino que... Um, esto será básicamente una clase para ustedes. Eh, importante que tratemos de hacerlo 
lo más en inglés posible y que tratemos de estar, como les digo, activos en, la, en, la, en el desarrollo de la actividad. Es necesario, ¿verdad? Que, um, que estemos todos colaborando porque de esa forma vamos a tener quizás un mejor desarrollo para la actividad misma. Así que eh, en un momento les voy a mostrar, porque sí creo que mejor nos vamos a enfocar directamente en eso. Ya si queda tiempo al final, pues ahí podemos trabajar en el otro tema que, que está medio pendiente. Pero quiero que nos enfoquemos completamente en lo de la creación de la historia. La historia, como les digo, ustedes eh, como grupo, vamos a tener dos grupos, entonces como grupo pueden elegir el tema que mejor les parezca y de ahí basarse a escribir una historia que sea al menos de unos tres párrafos. O sea que por eso vamos a tener bastante tiempo y vamos a estar ¿verdad? varios trabajando juntos en esta actividad. Eh, una vez más, a Wincampié es básicamente para proveer un momento, ¿verdad? En el que tengan una práctica full de ustedes y además que pongamos a trabajar esa macrohabilidad que hace falta, que es la de la escritura. Tanto la escritura como la creatividad. Yo sé que acá son muy creativos y pues sería de verdad genial que ambos grupos eligiesen el mismo, el mismo tema. No quise hacerlo así con un solo tema porque eso iba a ser como más eh, cerrado, digamos. Pero sería genial así para ver qué twist, ¿verdad? Qué diferencia le puede dar cada grupo. Pero bueno, la idea es esa, es trabajar, es colaborar. Así que espero que ustedes estén eh, con la disposición. Conozco el nivel de este grupo y por eso mismo es que me arriesgo, ¿verdad? A desarrollar esa actividad con ustedes porque yo sé que van a poder. Um, sí, Elizabeth. Eh, la historia puede ser orientada a cualquier, o, o sea, puede ser historia de aventura, terror, etcétera, etcétera. O de, con una cuestión específica o debe de tomar. Yo les voy, a, les voy a mostrar ahorita los temas que, que había pensado, o los temas que, que, que según yo podrían ser los, eh, los posibles, ¿sí? Y tenemos, por ejemplo, the first one, a long journey is interrupted by a disaster. Este considero yo que puede ser más como un tipo, ¿verdad? Aventura, ¿sí? Um, a woman who is deeply in love is crushed when her fiancé breaks up with her. Este puede ser más romántico, ¿sí? Um, a poor young girl comes into an unexpected fortune. Este puede ser más acerca, qué sé yo, de el camino que llevó a esa persona, ¿verdad? A donde se encontró con esto, ¿sí? Fortune en inglés puede entenderse como fortuna en cuanto a dinero y fortuna en cuanto a suerte. Así que ahí ustedes pueden darle el twist que quieran si eligen este tema. Y luego tenemos el otro, o el último. A middle-aged woman discovers a ghost. Aquí está, ¿verdad? Orientado hacia el, hacia el um, thriller. Así que tenemos eh, cuatro temas, casi que cada uno con una, eh, una perspectiva distinta. Y entonces por eso les digo, eh, cuando estemos ya en los grupos, ahorita si quieren pueden tomar una captura, cuando estemos en los grupos pueden decidir um, cuál va a ser el tema. No aquí, porque sería como les mencionaba, genial si podemos llegar verdad a, eh, a que ambos grupos trabajen en el mismo tema. Eso no lo voy a decir yo, no lo van a decidir ustedes. Eso va, si pasa, va a pasar eh, para ver cuál puede ser, digamos, el camino distinto que pueda tomar cada uno. Pero como les digo, vamos a trabajar en esto. En caso que no logremos terminarlo hoy, eh, probablemente trabajemos mañana en esto mismo también. No sé, espero que lo terminemos hoy porque, o sea, no espero que sea una historia tan larga, ¿sí? sino que simplemente una historia en la que ustedes trabajen y les digo unos tres párrafos, o sea, nada tan exagerado, ¿verdad? So, ya. Yeah. Um, no sé si tienen alguna duda o algo que quisieran aclarar antes de iniciar. Ok, parece que no. Entonces, como les digo, voy a estar monitoreando ambos grupos y espero de verdad que haya participación activa eh, pues, de todos los, los que estén um, conformando los grupos y pues que de esta forma... Así vamos a estar practicando y vamos a estar colaborando, ¿verdad? Con el desarrollo de la actividad misma. So, yeah. Um, welcome, guys, to this new version. Welcome to this activity. Um, as I said, please have your screenshots because when you get to the breakout rooms, um, I would like to get to hear, you know, what are the topics that you're planning to study and, or I mean, to, 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 to write about and also see the development of the whole writing process. So, yeah, I will open the rooms now. And basically, the rest of the class is going to be yours for you to create and for you to write um, about any of these topics. So here we go then.
I think the first one um, is the more easy. Uh, I didn't listen to you. Uh, are you proposing the first one or? Yeah. Okay. A long journey is interrupted by disaster. For me, it's more easy on the others. Mm, I don't know. It's in a in a village. And she has a lot, a lot of. No sé si entiendo bien el tema. Es de que era una chica pobre que que este como que le llega una fortuna de inesperada de repente como una herencia. Como una herencia, como algo vea que de repente la la dejaron a ella ahí. And then we have mm -hmm. like uh, maybe she if she's she's poor maybe she she has a lot of brothers and sisters she she doesn't study or doesn't mm -hmm. work a lot maybe just in the in the village or in his in his uh, in her house mm -hmm. I don't know uh, maybe we could we could. Uh, like the introduction, we could work telling us oh, how, how we are going to work. Um, maybe in the chat, we can start writing something or uh, some ideas, and then we can start creating. I mean, I think one of us have to take notes. Actually, I forgot to tell you guys that, uh, that if you can, I mean, or if you want, you know, whoever has like a computer, um, you can open, open like a Word document and you can be sharing um, the screen with the rest. Aquí que se sienta, digamos, listo como para escribir, o sea, que tenga como velocidad en los dedos, podría hacer eso, ¿verdad? Abrir su, um, en la computadora, si lo tiene disponible, uh, un documento de Word y pues ahí empezar a, a crear la historia. Porque así van a tener también un, una forma de estar monitoreando lo que escriben y poder ir editando. Eh, si en algún caso hay una palabra que esté mal o algo que quisiesen cambiar o que consideren que sea bueno cambiar, eh, podrían hacerlo así. Y como les digo, la idea es trabajar en equipo. Entonces, ese podría ser también una, una estrategia que podrían utilizar. El compartir la pantalla y pues alguien que vaya eh, typeando y los demás, o bueno, justo también esa persona, pues creando verdad la historia. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, excuse me, guys. There was something I didn't tell you. Sorry. Um, it, you're, you're going in the right direction. It sounds like a great story. Uh, however, I wanted to tell you that if it's possible, if you guys have access or if you have uh, the possibility, um, I think that one of you has to like take notes because the idea is that at the end, you know, we're gonna like tell the story. The thing is that if you can, or if you have the chance, um, it will be amazing if one of you can share the screen and open like a Word document and, you know, you go typing on that document because that way, in that way, you're gonna have a chance to like edit if there are like any mistakes or any um, like different ideas or things you would like to do different. Um, you can edit them and you're like reading the story at the same time that you're creating. So if it's possible, it will be amazing, you know, for the for the whole team to like be looking at, at the story. As you can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which disaster we are going to choose? Okay, uh, thank, thank you. A natural disaster? Maybe an, earth, an earthquake?
Yeah, I think it is. Um, uh, it's a good option. Um, on your record, like the movie two thousand twelve, maybe. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that. I will like the adventure oriented. So I don't know. You're talking about the the movie, twenty twelve. No. Yeah. E Elizabeth, I don't understand uh, the movie that you are saying. No, solo decía de que me gustaría, o sea, mi opinión es de que me gustaría que fuera orientada a algo de aventura, pero no sé lo demás. Uh, the thing is the the movie 2012 talk about a natural disaster but this the the topic here is a like a trip no a long journey is interrupted by a disaster yeah it's like uh, we're doing something and then we have to stop it because a disaster appears So the disaster that we have talked about is the earthquake, but we have to put something about uh, adventure and, and, and I don't know how to, to start. Uh, it's just an idea, maybe like um, once upon a time, There was a group of people who used natural research uh, at wild. O sea, eh, que usaban eso en todos los recursos, por decirlo así. Maybe for a start. And, and she was happy when she was, uh, I don't know, going to the river or playing with the dog. I don't know. Singing, oh. you know, that. what things do yeah. you think she, she would be happy yeah. doing? Yeah, yeah, because when you walk. live in a village, yeah. like go out, the, mm -hmm. uh, I study in her dog. Okay, maybe I yeah. study like a Haiti. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Niebla. <risa> con niebla. Corri corriendo con por la montaña. Ajá, con niebla. Can be, uh, can be with, with she have free time with herself. Uh, maybe alone. Yeah. She can enjoy uh, watch a movie at the cinema alone. Maybe. I mean, for me, it's, it's something that can uh, make her happy. Bien, because, yeah, because everybody has has TV, whatever they live, and she loves watched movies on TV. Yes? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yes, that's, that's right. Yo soy buena escribiendo historias y hoy tengo <risa> me ha gustado todo. Yo Entonces... soy buena alucinando, pero me he tupido de la, de la mente. <risa> ok. She was 16 years old and she was happy playing with the dog, running through the mountains, and she was also very happy watching movies on TV. Can you see the my screen? Yeah. It's in Word. Okay. 
Ok. Let me know your first idea. I will write on the on the chat. I was thinking about get your ideas, but um, putting us as the as the participants. I mean, I was trying to put on August thirty a group of friends named Elizabeth, Vanessa, Leslie. Um, I don't remember your name. But the, all the participants uh, are planning to travel to Europe. I remember you said that we're, go we're going to travel to Europe and then the flights get cancelled. I don't know. I, I, I remember you said that. Mm, a trip to Europe, no? Maybe. Yes. Oh, Elizabeth has another idea of, but it's the same. It's trip, but it's in car. Ah. Oh. What is the idea? It says they had, they have been looking forward to this trip for months, Carlos and Elena. But we have to put in the um for next to the trees, some trees, and when she opened it, it was a lot of more money, of a bill of hundred hundreds money, a one hundred yeah. Gold, gold, uh, coin. In this case, if we, ha if we oh. want that she has more money, it has to be bills, no? Yeah. And you found a package with like uh, how much money? <laughs> mm. um, thousand of bills. <laughs> yeah, thousand of bills. Not that. Uh, exactly. Okay, uh -huh, yeah. But now, a uh, hundred bill, one hundred dollars bills. Now, uh, she was a, a, a poor girl, then she was a good one. And then she shared that money with her grandmother. Uh, she repaired the, the, the house. Okay. Because they, the roof have, um, yeah. So that's como si se pudiera. Leaks. Okay. Roof has leaks and uh, she painted all the house and and she can leave the her job. And study just the song, just the study. Okay. Something it may like be, that. it may be if she, if the grandmother was sick, she gave her the money to go to the doctor. To help, help her. Inspirada, Lorena. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, just why. De ahí hacemos nuestro libro de, y nuestras historias en inglés. Okay. With that money, she was able to repair the house since the roof had many holes. <laughs> she painted it and gave her grandmother money to go to the doctor. And everybody was very happy. I don't know if it, yeah, something else to just to close it. 
there is uh, three paragraphs. Yes, she, she felt like uh, so grateful with God for that mother call. No, I mean, eh, tenemos ya los tres parras. Yo creo que sí. Yeah, this, this is going to be as the end. I'm going to, to, to put on. Now I'm going to open, I don't know, another word. Or you say guns, pistola. Pistola. P U N gun. Gun. No. Wait, N. N. Um, I think, I think the part we put with Gavi can we the end of the history. Don't you think? Excuse me. I think the part we put on with Gavi maybe will be the end of the history. Because uh, we said they never imagined that a romantic wall will in an um in a catastrophe. They were so happy because they didn't have enough time to share time together. Maybe will be the end of the history. Uh, yes, but uh, this is to continue the history from the idea. I don't know, but that is my idea to continue.
Uh, I don't know where. Maybe at the library, you know? Mm, well, or where? Bakery. Okay, at the baker. Because. One day she was, when she was coming home, she found a package with $1,100. With that mm -hmm. money, she was able to repair the house since the roof had many, you said another word. Uh, Leak. 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 Okay, she painted and she gave her grandmother money to go to the doctor. She was very grateful to God for the miracle received. Excellent. Okay. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a, a very nice history. Yes, yeah. you're yeah, short, sure, but nice. Yes, maybe we want to be on another letter. Now that, yeah. I was, I was about to say that, like, make it like in a different font and maybe a little bit bigger so it looks like it's more. <laughs> huh? What happened? I was about to tell you, like, um, uh, use a different font and make it uh, a bigger font as well so it looks like it's more, you know. Okay. <laughs> no, it, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but can but you yeah. see it like that? Or or I can it's up to you. It's up to you. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's I mean if yeah. you ask for me, I will I will make you guys write a whole book, but it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> just because we don't have I don't know time, no? Yeah, the other team does. The other team is just starting. I mean, they have only like two um two paragraphs, so they are still working. If you guys ah, want okay. to add, you know, if you want to add any details, um you can continue to do so. Okay. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we can say she study very from un terremoto. O sea, como para acabar Como dos desastres en uno. Ok. But I, 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 was, I was writing something. I will send it. Just wait. Wait me. Mm. But what? Ah, oh, ok. You didn't finish. She took mm -hmm. another way to come back home. Mm -hmm. And that day, she found a package with $1,100. Like, uh, it was something different that she did, no? Yeah. Hasta con moraleja y todo. Hay que salir de la zona de confort para poder... Yeah. Because her mother was very sick.
Marte. Didn't have. Uh, because her mom, wa but they didn't have the money to to buy medicines, so you know to go to the doctor. Eso podría ir al inicio, eh, junto con que tenía que trabajar mm -hmm. y. Uh, porque su abuela estaba bien enferma y no tenían dinero para sus medicinas. Ok. Después de yo a The Box Baker. Ok. Existe. Mejor, ¿verdad? <laughs> Control C en control Uf. Para cortar es control X. Ah, ok. Por apenas eh, aprendiendo eso, los hipótesis mis, porque no usa tal cosa. Mis. Y yo estaba dormida. Me caí. Y con el Roma va a perder. En. Uh -huh. They didn't have the money to buy the medicine. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. So it was. Okay. <laughs> Please, teacher, we're ready. How to say that? All right. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> I I just broadcasted a message. It's only gonna take three more minutes. Okay. So yeah, in three minutes. If we're not, we continue working. In no, in in three minutes no. we're going back. We're going back into the into the uh, the main room. So no oh. worries. Okay. Yeah. No van a que ustedes cómo cómo se sienten creen que podrían escribir una historia de 20 páginas. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I like to write. <laughs> and but maybe then... not not with the, all the the rules and all of those things, but, but with the... but with, with Lorena in the team. Of course. <laughs> No, it's just because I like I like to write, and, and, and the ideas comes easy from from my mind if it if it is something that I know about. No. Yeah, so it would be it would be great, you know. Um, in my case, I had to write a story one time that was uh, supposed to be twenty pages. I did twenty seven, I think it was. Hice siete más porque yo dije, o sea, si estoy seguro, si en una página la riego, tengo siete de de sobra. So. <laughs> Yeah, um, but it was about like an enchanted uh, kingdom. I I don't remember the whole thing, but it was it was very you know weird. Y yo me acuerdo que esa historia, o sea, para escribir la veinte páginas fue como que casi que en un centón, o sea, rapidito, verdad. Pero luego cuando empecé a editar estaba casi así como ustedes ahorita. ¿Será que le cambio esto? ¿Será que le cambio lo otro? Entonces y ver hacer verlas en eso fue que me me recordó que dije. Ah, that was me once, once in a time. Así que, ajá. Es complicado. Yeah, because, yo siento que es yeah. complicado. Yeah, because when you just put the ideas, it is mm -hmm. easy. But mm -hmm. when you have to give, like, the form and to use all the rules and, mm -hmm. and do the commas and all of those things, yeah. It takes if some time. Teacher. Yes. Yes, Imelda. I do that in all my messages that I sent. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Right. I did it and so. <laughs> I mean, I was I was thinking earlier today, you know, that it was something that I had never done. Like I 
I know that I mentioned that reading is important, but writing is also crucial. And uh, seeing the way you write, it's like, you know, it's important to like kind of analyze it because, uh, yeah, I mean, we have to put writing to use as well. So I decided to go for this activity. I know that it was, the, I, I kind of knew it was going to be tedious. Y una cosa que sí me di cuenta es que creo que mejor hubiese seguido mis instintos, ¿saben? Anoche dije que sí, que lo seguía todo el tiempo, pero no. Hoy me di cuenta que no. Porque mm. <laughs> mi instinto, de verdad... You have 29, you yeah. have less. Yeah, my instinct was to, to make smaller groups. Groups only of like three people. Uh, yeah. But then I thought, uh, it's going to be hard because not everyone, you know, has the creativity. So maybe dividing the class in two groups is better. But seeing you and the other group work, I realized that, yeah, it was better. If I uh, had created three different groups, it would have been better. But still, the stories are great. So, yeah, and it's over, actually. It's actually time. So we're going to see, you know, what you guys have. Bueno, de mi momento voy a ver, de hecho, el otro, los otros cómo están. Y si no, pues ya nos vemos en el room principal. Okay. Okay. All ready. Are we ready here? ¿Cómo nos sentimos? ¿Estamos listos? Can you give us like five minutes more, please? Okay, five more minutes? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to let the other group know. And uh, yeah, we meet at A49 then. Okay. All ready. No problem. Okay. Everybody, maybe. Yes. Maybe, maybe what? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. No, because I have to do it with, with my students. Sometimes I, they have to write about themselves or about something. And those, they don't have ideas. That they, I think I, they don't know how to, to how to write anything. Then I, I have to be like in her mind or in her in their minds to to give, talk about your dog, talk about your, and then they, they don't. And, that's why. Yeah. To, to yeah. So the other team needs a few more minutes, they said. So I think that we need to like, you know, give them some space. I was expecting um oh yeah, that's another thing. Espero no se sientan mal con lo que les voy a decir ahorita. Sí, porque ajá. Este, yo sé que no estamos hablando necesariamente de de esto, de de escritura. But for future occasions, uh paragraphs, paragraphs, paragraphs are normally oh. with the, in between um, <laughs> yeah. five and, and 12 seven. lines. Yeah, oh wait, yeah. Like on stories, it's five and eight. Yeah, five and eight lines. And okay. on the news, I think it is that it's uh, five and 12. But a paragraph longer than 12 lines, it's too big. But yeah, the thing is that uh, when I thought of that, I was like thinking, you know. You had to say that at the, at the beginning because the beginning. We, don't, uh -huh. we don't know that. Yeah, you guys... We wanted to continue writing, but we didn't know how much. Yeah. How but, longer did we want it? But still, you know, I, I that's why I told you that you were going to have like the whole hour. But still, it's, it's okay. I mean, your story, it's great. It has like a beginning, a middle, and an end, which is another of the details about, you know, the stories. They have to like be comprised into into like uh those three sections having a beginning a, a middle or like a climax and an end so yeah yes i will actually like to analyze you know how um big a story can get because as you were saying before um i think that ideas come from basically anything in my case i remember that one time i well when i was younger and i had some extra free time <laughs> I thought of like writing a story and I started based simply on a girl that got off of the microbus where I was writing. You know, I was coming back home and I saw this girl, um, she was carrying her baby and I started creating a whole story in my brain. Like, you know, that she was from a poor family and that um, she had to take care of the baby by herself and that she was working very hard to like raise the baby. And many things. I don't remember fully what the story was following, but I do remember that I started writing a story just because of that girl. And like that, I had like 10 stories that I started writing. And oh. 
yeah, back in the day, I was I was more creative, I would say. Also, I was reading a lot more. So, of course, you I was... A, a, a report. Um, and, and you know, you know what is sad about it? That um, when I was writing those stories, I didn't know that at one time I was supposed to, like, actually write a story for the university. So none of those stories were, like, saved. I basically just wrote them down on a, on a notebook, and then I lost the notebook. So okay. when I had to start writing this story for the university, I had to start from scratch because I didn't have any of those um, previous stories that I was writing. But I don't know. It was it's weird. And sometimes when I remember that, I would love to like have more extra time, you know, and come back to like writing because it helps the brain. It helps you like build even more creativity than reading does, in my opinion. But you can do it in, in, in some pauses you know, uh, two or, or three lines and going and going, you know. Yeah, because I, um, I remember also when I was like, after my mom died, I was always trying to write poems. And uh, I, uh, yeah, that was also another notebook. But that one, I remember that I burned it because I was writing those poems and then I just- And you were crying. <laughs> yeah, I, I, and I didn't feel like they had any sense. <laughs> So I was yeah. like, I don't want to do this anymore. And I, I threw it into the into the fire. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, part of like the development, I think. And as you say, Imelda, I think I haven't abandoned, you know, the desire of one day yeah. maybe having a story. Because, yeah, I like writing. And I, I mean, I have always loved reading. So why, you know, why not thinking of like creating a story for people to read about my story? So, yeah, it yeah. would be great. We, yeah, we we could buy your story. I have heard so as well. <laughs> I remember that my my teacher he told me that he wanted to publish my story when he read it because he said that um you know he had like like some great elements, but I remember that I told him that I didn't think it was like ready. I wanted to like make it longer, uh, which I never did. <laughs> <laughs> the you lose that... the opportunity to be rich. Imagine those times we you do you be here teaching us. <laughs> you could if, be if uh -huh. I if I had ever taken the chances that I have had, yeah, if I had ever, because um for a time when I was living in the US, um uh, the family that I, I was living with, they offered me the chance to work for an editorial in Mexico. Mm. Like they told me, you know, to like go to Mexico. The only problem was that I had to I had to travel to the US and uh, you know for to work for them um so yeah and that was basically impossible because in my case I I had to wait for 2 years before I even tried to go to the US um yeah. so yeah I, I didn't have the chance so when when I called them when I had the 2 years they told me that the editorial actually moved and they were now in Canada and I was like ah okay. uh, well yeah, you I mean, uh, travel to Canada, to Canada. You wanted to be, be there, no? Yeah, that's my desire. And actually, I'm taking some steps because, yeah, my girlfriend and I were thinking of like, you know, starting the the process of no, moving yeah. there. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, we're kind of growing tired of like the situation here. <laughs> but still, it's you know, it's part you know of life. What, what uh huh. Uh huh. So pass up that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. But maybe, you know, maybe in a, in a few years, um, you're going to read uh, a book by Oscar Segovia. Who knows? <laughs> you yeah. have to, to take our, our emails or something to send us the invitation to buy it. That would be great. And that would Ratino, be great. ya lo termina de escribir y lo publica. Cabal. <laughs> sí, de hecho, o sea, siempre he pensado, si yo tuviera más tiempo, o sea, más tiempo libre, um, sí me gustaría bastante, o sea, porque, uff, de verdad que a veces cuando me pongo a... O sea, en mi casa muchos me dicen ¿va? que no saben por qué yo no me hago uh, locutor, youtuber o cualquier cosa así. Porque es como que siempre dicen, o sea, vos siempre tenés ideas de, de cualquier cosa. Es como que, eh, ya. Yeah. But I'm, I'm shy when it comes to doing those things. When it comes to like doing public public stuff. I don't know. But yeah. maybe writing is easier for you. Say. Yeah, because it's, it's more private. You know, yeah. writing is more private. It's like I'm in my zone, so I don't have yeah. to be like with anyone else. So yeah, it's more private. 
but that's why I think that you know going to another country will make it easier uh, because uh, being there um, I will have like more chances of like developing oh, or maybe you will have to work more because on those countries you have to <laughs> well who knows pay more <laughs> yeah maybe I don't know I don't know but we'll see we'll see how life goes well, okay. creo que ahora sí. Creo que ya tienen tiempo porque ya me escribieron ahí en WhatsApp, así que creo que ahora sí. Uh, let's go into the main room and let's see what the stories are about. So, yeah. Ok, so, ¿cómo están mis Shakespeare's? Muy bien. So, tonight, um, that's ok. So, tonight we are creating stories, which is amazing. And we still have some time, you know, to read the stories. I think that we have gotten to an end on all of them. So, I would like to have one representative and I, I, I will choose the person who was um, who had access to the Word document, which in this case are going to be Lorena and Luis. So you two are going to be in charge of reading out loud for the rest of the group the stories that you have come up with. Now, tomorrow we're going to discuss how we felt because I would like to hear, you know, your feedback and on how you felt about um, writing and how the experience was. Um, and if you would like, you know, to continue doing activities like this, because as, as, as I said, we're going to have basically a full week, um, for us to like do some free roaming. So maybe, uh, we're going to continue doing activities like this, where you have like more chances of like using your skills. Um, something that I do think that we will do is a questionnaire, but that's going to be in smaller groups because that's something that I have also realized that it would be much better if you work in smaller groups. So we're going to do that um on one of these days but yeah for now the stories i think that we're going to start with luis so luis can you please help me reading the story that you have written uh with your team yes okay let me check <clears throat> our story is about a long journey is interrupted by a disaster mm -hmm. The story has a name, Fate in the Storm. Okay. That's the name of our story. Okay. Okay, and start, uh, they have been looking forward to this trip for months. Carlos and Elena, a young couple with a passion for adventure, has planned a long car trip through the uh, an an a no country with suitcase full of excitement and a map draw with promising destination, they began their journey. For a pair hours driving their car, a person made a stop signal requesting help. Then Carlos stopped the car and asking what's wrong. The, the guy told them that a still person got into his house and killed him. And killed him uh, his wife and kids. After that, Carlos calls to the police, uh, which they never went to the location. And in that time, another main gangs arrived then Carlos got in in the car again. They continued to high speed, speed on the highway, and they were on a and they were on a safe situation. However, while they were enjoying the trip between song and laughter, they suddenly uh, noticed sudden change in the in the weather then they turned to the location radio they realized that they were in the path of a strong hurricane they never imagined 
that a romantic walk would end in a catastrophe. They were so happy because they didn't have enough time to share time together. Period. Okay. Wow, that's dramatic. That is very dramatic. Very, very good. Okay, so I like it. I like, you know, what you guys have done. Uh, great, great work. Very, very nice. Okay, now, um, it was also quite long, so that's also uh, welcome. So, great. How about you, Lorena? Can we get to hear your story, please? Okay. A poor young girl comes into an unexpected fortune. Once upon a time, there was a very poor girl named Mary who lived in a small village with her grandmother since she was an orphan or father and mother. She was 16 years old and she was happy playing with the dog, running through the mountains, and she was also very happy watching movies on TV. She studied very far from, the, from her village and every day she crossed the river to go to study and work because she had a part-time job at the bakery because her own mother, her own mom was very sick and they didn't have money to buy the medicine. One day when she was coming back home, it was a little bit later and she took another way to come back. And that day she found a package with thousands of hundred dollars bills. With that money, she was able to repair the house since the roof has many leaks. Had many leaks, she painted and she gave her grandmother money to go to the doctor. She was very grateful to God for the miracle received. Okay. You know, that story actually reminds me of something that happened or is supposed to have happened around here. I, I wasn't even born back then. But uh, there was a time when someone could have lived something like that uh, because they tell or the story goes that someone here in the neighborhood where I live, um, he had sold, I don't know how many manzanas, but many, many, many acres of like land. And he was carrying the money in a backpack, you know, in, a, in an old backpack. And he went to a store or he gave it to someone else. Yeah, he gave it to someone else to carry it because people, some people knew that he was selling the land. So he was afraid that, you know, those people will be like following him to like get the money. But this other person got the money, got to the store, and he basically forgot the backpack. As the backpack wasn't his, he forgot the backpack. And the owner of the store, when she saw the backpack, she was like, ah, this is garbage. And she got the backpack and threw it on the garbage. You know, there were like, I don't know, maybe half a million colones. That's something like that. So it was a lot of money. It was a lot, lot of money. Um, and she, but she didn't know, you know, she didn't know that that much was there in the backpack. So she, so she threw it on, on the garbage and like two hours later, the guy who had sold the land, he got to the store because he asked, you know, the other guy, like, where's my money? And he was like, oh, I only went to Lupita's store. So he got to the store and he asked the, 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 the woman, like, um, did you see a backpack around here? And she told her, like, yeah, uh, a dirty one. I threw it on the, on the garbage. And so he went and got mm -hmm. the backpack and he got some money out of the backpack and gave it to her. But it was not, you know, like she, she could have gotten all the money, all that money. And she didn't. She basically, <gasps> yeah. It's... I, I was thinking and the garbage train passed and took the money and... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I guess it's in the camp. It's basically impossible. You know, it's basically impossible that someone else was going to get it. But yeah, it's, you know, it's supposed to be a true story. So those things can happen. So it's, yeah. it's, it's possible. But well, um, basically, we are done. As I said, tomorrow we're going to discuss how we felt. We're going to uh, basically finish the two topics that we have left. Um, so yeah, tomorrow let's be ready for the last class of the week as well. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys very much for your attention and participation, well, not attention, for the participation of this evening's class. That's basically, you guys did everything. Um, so yeah, thank you very much and uh, see you tomorrow. So bye-bye for now. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.